Hello guys, welcome to Movies Club. Today, I am going to explain a Russian comedy sci-fi film called The Unperfect Guy. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. A young Russian woman named Sveta lives in a small apartment with her boyfriend, Borya. Sveta has recently left her job at a car showroom and is currently interviewing for a job at a multi-million dollar robotic company. Her potential boss, Vadim Sergeyevich, is impressed by her intelligence and appoints her in his company as a manager for the next launch. Sveta is beyond happy while returning home. She walks into her physical trainer and influencer boyfriend, Borya, working out in her kitchen. Sveta picks up on Borya's weird behavior, but doesn't say anything. A noise is heard from the bathroom, which Borya claims is a client, but his lie is soon caught when a girl with only a towel comes out of it. Sveta looks at her boyfriend with teary eyes as he makes up excuses. She also notices him hiding a packet of contraception on the floor, but doesn't call him out for it. Borya is clearly cheating on her, but Sveta is too emotionally attached to him to let him go. After the woman leaves, Borya cooks breakfast for them, as an awkward silence prevails in the kitchen. Having had enough of Sveta's silence, he asks her to speak and curse him, because he deserves it. Sveta still insists nothing is wrong with their relationship, which makes Borya even more furious. He hands her a slipper, urging her to hit him, but she declines. Things get heated when he starts to bang his head on the fridge, and throws his dumbbell off the balcony. It lands on someone's car, and the couple is called downstairs to pay for it. Borya begins arguing with the man, even though it was his fault. When Sveta stops him, he declares that they have broken up and leaves. Good thing he solved that problem himself. Sveta is devastated. Her mood from the morning changes entirely, and she begins to cry. The following day is her first day at work. Her co-worker, Veet, explains everything she has to do throughout the day. Her first task is to unpack human-like androids, sync them with their tablets, and ask them for their model number. Once the number matches, she has to scan the barcode behind their ears and send them to room number 21 for diagnosis. The androids are so similar to humans that one cannot differentiate between them. The company has given them all their own personality and a specific thing they are good at, so the consumers could buy one according to their needs. The first box that Sveta opens is a well-built fitness trainer. Sveta carefully takes the tablet from beside him and links him to it. His neck, which was made of iron till now, starts to transform to look like a human. When the robot opens its eyes, it startles Sveta. She is confused about what she should do next, but the smart robot briefs her. Sveta does as he says and sends him for evaluation. Next, she opens a box with a beautiful model inside it. She, too, is as smart as the first guy. By her third time, Sveta gets the hang of the job, and does it efficiently. She unpacks a cook, a political leader, a maid, and other robots. However, her skills are tested when a box with a friend doesn't want to tell her his model number. He refuses to get up, and says that he just had a really horrible dream. Sveta believes that he might have a defect, and asks him to go to the evacuation room. But he states that he is scared, and hugs her. She calls Veet and informs him about the situation. He almost doesn't believe her until he sees the friend for himself. On checking, he finds out that the friend has the error number 102. The robot is scared because this might mean they will demolish him to create a new and better robot. He starts to cry about how short his life was. Even while crying, he compliments Sveta's beauty because he cannot help it. Flirting and being friendly is coded in his program. This robot is smooth. Their boss, Vadim Sergeyevich, is called for the final verdict of the situation. He wants to send the defective one back to Japan, but Sveta retaliates, saying that they can sell him at a discount because of the defect. Sergeyevich agrees, and asks her to prepare the robots for the potential clients. Following that, they are kept on platforms for an exhibition, so the clients can chat with them and decide which one to get. Sveta is nervous because she has to present the robots to the clients. She tells the friend that her confidence is low, because her boyfriend just broke up with her. But he assures her, her boyfriend was a dumbass anyway, and she will do great. A wealthy woman comes looking for a suitable robot, and Sveta introduces her to the friend. She is skeptical about buying him at first, but changes her mind when he flatters her with several compliments. 
However, while trying to win her acceptance, the friend starts getting weirdly sexual. Yet, the woman asks Sveta to pack him up, until she comes back to pick him up. Later, when Sveta is working on her computer, the friend approaches her and apologizes for his inappropriate jokes. His internet brain had just discovered 4chan, and he couldn't help it. He also thanks her for being such a good salesperson, and compliments her talent. As they talk, he suggests she buy him, so they can be good friends forever. Sveta laughs and claims that he is out of her budget. The friend reveals that he cracked the inappropriate joke on purpose, because if he was selected, he would never meet her again. Then, he gets closer to Sveta and kisses her on the lips, but she immediately backs up. At last, they share an awkward hug and separate. The next day, the company holds a runway show to display all the robots. The show is a success, and most of them are sold out quickly. At the end of the day, Vadim Sergeyevich is drunk and cannot drive home himself. Vit offers to drive Sergeyevich and Sveta to their houses. On their way home, Vit invites Sveta to a concert that is four months away. It is evident that he has started to like her. They sing songs throughout the journey. When they reach Sveta's apartment, Sergeyevich insists on taking her to her room, although he is drunk. He falls asleep on the couch, so Sveta doesn't bother to wake him up, and goes to sleep herself. When she returns to work the following day, she is surprised to see that the woman has already taken the friend away. Although it is her first successful sale, and she should be happy, something doesn't feel right. Just then, she gets a text from the friend. He has sent her a video, thanking her for being his friend, even if it was only for a day. He then recites a self-written poem for her. Sveta is left smitten after listening to it. She cannot help but call his owner with the excuse of checking up on him. The friend excitedly tells her that his owner is making him wear an animal onesie. He says that he misses her before hanging up. The next day at work, his owner barges in, complaining about the robot's behavior. The friend follows her and says that he doesn't want to stay with her because she makes him wear stupid clothes and treats him like a slave, which hurts his pride. Vadim Sergeyevich apologizes to the customer and ensures her a full refund. He is furious at the friend for making his company look bad. As he hits the robot, Sveta stops him, claiming that she will buy him instead. For the next few days, she collects money from her friend Katya, her mother, and from the bank, and finally brings the friend home. At night, he sleeps on the floor beside her bed. They discuss a name for him and decide on Yegor. Sveta wakes up the next morning to Yegor making her a delicious breakfast. He sends her off to work and texts her the entire day. The two are slowly but surely falling in love. One evening, Sveta goes to hang out with her best friend Katya, who is expecting to be proposed to by her boyfriend soon. She invites Sveta and Yegor to her birthday party and asks her to stay in the front row, confident that she is going to be proposed to. One day, Yegor is alone at home, when Borya walks in and asks him who he is. Yegor believes that he is an intruder and punches him in the face. He also avoids all of Borya's attacks. Seeing his unique personality, Borya challenges him to a pull-up competition and broadcasts it live to his million followers. An innocent Yegor agrees to compete. The live video goes viral and a lot of people join in. Sveta also sees it and rushes home to find a drunk Borya and Yegor in front of her building. She turns Yegor's power off and brings him to the apartment. She is furious at him for hanging out with her ex-boyfriend without her permission. Yegor asks her if she is still in love with Borya, clearly jealous. Sveta realizes how he feels, and the two kiss for the first time. That evening, they go to Katya's birthday party and meet her. Katya's boyfriend asks her to come to the stage, but never proposes to her. She loses her patience and asks him for the ring, embarrassing herself in front of everyone. Then, she runs to the back room, crying about the horrible night. Sveta follows her and makes Yegor sit with her while she goes to meet Katya's boyfriend. Borya is also at the party, showing everything live to his followers. Katya's boyfriend tells Sveta that he is gay, which is also heard on Instagram, live. They go to tell Katya the truth, but find her giving sexual favors to Yegor. Sveta loses her mind and hits Katya with a bottle. However, she moves at the last moment, and the bottle hits Yegor, breaking his jaw. Sveta takes him home and invites Vit to repair his face. Sometime later, she takes off the bandage from his face and sees that Vit has changed his face altogether. 
Her day gets worse when she goes to the office and gets fired because of the live video of yesterday's event that went viral on the internet. Even while getting fired, she asks for a new face for Yegor, but Vadim Sergeyevich dismisses her. So, she takes help from Veet and sneaks into the warehouse at night. They look through the model of the boxes and finally find the one they were looking for, but their plan goes south when they realize Vadim Sergeyevich has been watching them while on a bed with the model robot. He fires Veet from the job for bringing Sveta in, but lets them have the face for Yegor. On the ride back home, Sveta feels bad for Veet, but he assures her that he will find a new job soon. He is in love with her, but knows that they cannot be together because of Yegor. Sveta gives Yegor his old face back, and the two start living like a happy couple. They start a YouTube family channel together, and turn into huge influencers because of the uniqueness of their relationship. One day, Yegor proposes to Sveta on Instagram Live. She says yes, and jumps around in happiness. In the following scene, Sveta is walking down the aisle to marry the love of her life. The pastor is a beautiful young lady. She asks Yegor if he takes Sveta as his wife, but instead of saying yes, he flirts with the pastor. Sveta loses her patience when he asks for her number. Humiliated at her own wedding, she runs back home. Yegor follows her, trying to pass his flirting as a glitch in his program, but Sveta has made up her mind. She cries and asks him why he did that to her, but Yegor lashes out at her, calling her a weakling. Veet arrives at the right time and reveals that error 109 is not actually an error. It is a feature that every friend robot has, because of which they mirror all the activities of the person who first talks to them. So, up until now, Yegor has been mirroring Sveta. He cheated on her with Katya because Sveta wanted Katya to get over her boyfriend. Even now, he is yelling at her because she is doing the same to him. Yegor realizes that he will only hurt her if he stays in her life. So, he hands her the remote and asks her to turn him off and send him back to Japan. They kiss for the last time before she presses the button. Six months after the incident, Sveta wakes up and goes to the kitchen to see Veet cooking for her. He loves her more than anyone else ever has. While eating, she gets a text from Yegor for the first time since they last talked. She locks herself in the bathroom and watches the video. Yegor says he is now in Japan and is happy. He also claims that he remembers all the time they spent together because those were the best moments in his life. Sveta watches the video with a smile on her face as Yegor sings for her in a Japanese warehouse. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.